Well, I can say that Friday we were at the Algerian mission to the UN when this news came out from the Center for Constitutional Rights that Jamel Amizian and the other brother whose um, name I cannot recall at the moment from Algeria were forcibly repatriated. Um, they could have gone to other countries who had already agreed to accept them. Jamel himself had been approved for release in 2008. So this is more than five years of being forcibly kept in Guantanamo while there was no case against him, and then forced to go back to Algeria, where he reasonably fears the repression of going to an Islamic fundamentalist state, and was very clear that as a secular person, he didn't want to go there, and he had reasonable fears for his future. We know he's being held in detention. We don't know what the conditions are, and we don't know when he's going to be released from detention, but our demand to the Algerian government is to release him forthwith and let nothing bad happen to him in Algeria. In Algeria. And he should have the human right, as anybody would, to live where he needs and wants to live with his family and safety. And we really commend all the attorneys that have been working on this case for many years and all the people around the world who have signed petitions and demanded Jamel's release. By all rights, he should not still be in prison. Algeria, I want the South. Our people are here to free Jamel. Algeria, I want the South. Our people are here to free Jamel. He was also pardoned under both President Bush and President Obama's presidencies, and he still hasn't been released. He also suffered from a lot of a lot of abuses in Guantanamo, including solitary confinement. Um, also, recently, all of his belongings were seized from him in uh, a raid on a camp earlier this year, um, and he also has a case pending filed by the CCR um, against the Obama administration that's currently in D.C. courts, and his court date was actually delayed due to the shutdown, um, which is something that we should all contemplate on, um, is that it actually affected how the pace of his case in general, um, so the shutdown affects a lot of people all over the world. Um, and in addition to that, he um, went to university in Algeria, um, was living a great life, and then went to Austria where he was a chef in a hotel. Um, he also really enjoyed painting, and therefore we have um, postcards with some paintings that he's made um, while at Gitmo. And um, after that, he was captured while in Afghanistan. Um, and there have never, they have never found any charges against him or any relations to anything. He was simply trying to escape the war when it broke out, as was the case with a lot of detain current detainees at Gitmo, um, against whom charges have never been found. Um, they were simply trying to escape the violence, um, and a bounty was placed on him by the Pakistani and uh, U.S. Uh, bounty hunters, and he was taken to Gitmo, and he has been there since, and now he might be in a worse situation. So that's a very and, sad story about Jamal. And the reason he was in Afghanistan was because he, he had to leave Canada, where he had been applying for asylum and was refused asylum. Um, he was in Canada because he had applied for asylum, afraid to go back to his native Algeria. And he had been in Austria, and his visa expired, and he, in, in fear of going back to Austria, had gone to Canada. So he's an asylum seeker um, from Algeria, and still our government has sent him back to the country that he, seek, he was seeking asylum from. So uh, the, it's clear that it's, it's a... Um, it's against international law for someone who is seeking asylum because of their fear um, to be sent back. Um, and as Deborah mentioned, he has been offered asylum from other countries, like Luxembourg offered him right. asylum, um, and it just doesn't make sense as to why the United States would not choose to send him somewhere that was safe and that had agreed to have him. Release him to his family! Justice, Justice for Algeria! 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 You can write Obama's wrong! Release him to his family! Justice, Justice for Algeria!
Okay, so we have a letter, um, which is similar to the one delivered on Friday in New York, um, asking the ambassador, His Excellency of Dola Bali, um, to consider um, our demands and to respect the human rights of John and his family. So hopefully they will have well, they're let they're us. They're 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 <laughs> Algeria! Algeria! Release Jamal to his family! Justice for Jamal Amisian! Jamal's human rights are under attack! So what do we do? Stand up! Fight back!